It was the way we go even when we opened in Boston. Yeah, it wasn't called Oklahoma till we got to New York. They asked all of us if we could come up with a name. And it was my uncle who suggested Oklahoma. So I told him. It was such a terrific reaction in Boston when we did the Oklahoma arrangement and the way it was choreographed and it was just beautiful. The audience practically got up and cheered like they do at an opera. And so my uncle was there at the performance and he said, you know, they ought to call that Oklahoma. Well, I went to Rogers and I said, how about calling it Oklahoma? <laughs> so, They had to do a lot of work cutting and changing. There was a song called Boys and Girls Like You and Me in the original uh, score, which they took out. And we spent hours staging this thing. But as I told you, Rodgers and Hammerstein did not want anything to interfere or slow down the plot storyline. They didn't want anybody to stop the show. They didn't uh, want us ever to acknowledge the applause. We never came out of character. Nobody was allowed to take bows. Our opening night was different. Opening night, and we did Many a New Day, and people will say we were in love. The applause was so fabulous, we had to take a bow. I remember I went in to change for my uh, wedding gown and I had to go back on the stage with my party dress and Alfred was out there taking bows and I had to join him after we did the reprise of uh, People Will Say We're In Love. It was so funny. And then I had to run back and get into my wedding gown for the next scene coming up. She put uh, all those little feminine qualities into the song and even I danced in Many a New Day as well as sang. Everything she did was so uh, very right for the, even the ballet, the dream ballet. Everything was right for the characters. You know, she depicted it so beautifully. And she was equipped to uh, get that real feeling of, of cowboys and everything that, that comes in the uh, ballet and all the things that happened. The greatest part of my success was given to me from the director, Ruben Mamoulian. He was a wonderful director. He worked with the one-on-one -on -one with the actor, sat down, talked about the, the, the characters, the culture, and he once had me in a session and said, do you know what Judd is after with you? Because he knew I was 19 years old, and I let him know that I knew exactly what he was after. He said, well, you have to you have to register that in the scene with him, where you finally stand up to him and tell him where to go in no uncertain terms. So he, he, he had a, a wonderful quality of reaching the individual actor. What I learned is that Laurie had to be a depiction of the women of that era. Uh, she was very perky and uh, feisty little gal. She could tell anyone off, you know. You have to study the culture of that time where these women were very strong. They were pioneers. They developed Oklahoma and they were farm women who had to work very hard. So you had to be a, a different type of person. <laughs>